Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Macclesfield Canal and in this video, well, we're starting at Four Lane Ends and then we're going to travel on as far as Higher Pointon and this video will finish at the Higher Pointon Water Point. So let's have a look at the map. We're starting at the bottom of the map, the yellow marker there. We're travelling along the blue line, which is the canal, all the way up to the top of the map, the other yellow marker, the trip end point, which is the water point at Higher Pointon. Pointon and its shops are over to the left and that green line is the Middlewood Way which is a disused railway line which has now been converted into a cycle track and footpath. We're just approaching the place where I moored up at the end of the last video. It was so rocky and stony there I dragged the boat back a bit where it was better. These are the visitor moorings and that's bridge 18 just up ahead. To the left of here there is a pub but I didn't think much of these visitor moorings they were just too scrapey. Immediately on the other side of this bridge there's a winding hole and a boatyard where you can buy diesel and gas etc. And after that there's a large marina with very many boats moored up. And now, at last, we've reached the end of the moored boats, so back out into countryside again. 
I should also point out though at various times during this video you may see a little dark shadow crawling across the screen and that's because there was a small spider right in front of the camera and he was building a new web so you'll just see him occasionally but there'll just be this sort of little dark shadow moving around. The canal gets very narrow here. It's probably an old bridge. There's quite a lot of um, ruined remains along this canal. Which is probably good news really because if they were all swing bridges it would make this canal really quite difficult.
This is a footbridge across the canal. On the right in the field there, there's a couple of public footpaths. But just before you get to this bridge, if you look on the right, you can see the remains of an old swing bridge. We're now approaching the outskirts of Higher Poynton. This was the 29th of July. This was as far as I went on this day. I stopped here, but don't go away because the video's not ended. I stayed here for quite a few days, actually. It was a nice spot and it was fairly good cycling distance to Poynton itself, so it was quite convenient. And then on the 8th of August, I carried on. How about that for perfect timing? Thank you, Mr. Heron. The 8th of August, eh? Well, I first moved on to my boat on the 8th of August, 1990. So today it was my 30th anniversary. That makes me feel old. Anyway, from here, I travelled up to the water point at Higher Poynton because I'd obviously needed water. I had a load of rubbish to get rid of as well. So that was convenient. There's no Elsan facility there, though. That is a bit of a nuisance. And there's Mr. Heron again. Just after that blue CRT workboat, the canal opens up into a big wide lagoon. You can't boat over to the right hand side, the canal itself carries straight on towards the bridge um, and you can't boat over there because it's way too shallow. Um, but 20 years ago when I was last here, this is where I got stuck, there was another canal lockdown. The foot and mouth disease was ravaging the country and because of that all the footpaths were closed and all us boaters were told to go to certain locations and this was where I ended up for a whole month. On the other side of that fence on the left there's a fairly steep drop and a playing field but this was a, a kind of a nice place to get stuck. I think I'm forever going to associate the Macclesfield Canal with lockdowns because this has happened twice now. The water point is just on the other side of the bridge, on the left, where that boat is. He's just leaving by the look of it, which is very convenient. But also there is a winding hole as well.
that bridge on the left leads to a boat yard. Now here's the water point. The rubbish disposal is on the other side of that bridge. You can't miss it. And right here is also a winding hole. A view from above might make things clearer. So I'm going to stop here for some water and to get rid of the rubbish. In the next video we'll travel on to High Lane. So until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.